Hey guys, it's Riley or Riles Thrifted over on Instagram and Poshmark and today I am here with a Nordstrom Rack and Last Chance Haul. So I've been doing a lot of shopping in the month of August. It is now September, so I'm obviously behind getting these filmed. If you saw my car, I'd probably look like a hoarder to you. Am I a hoarder? With a hoarder with the intention to sell? So today I'm combining a Last Chance Haul and a Nordstrom Rack Haul just because I don't have enough stuff from Nordstrom Rack to do its own haul. So I will start out with the Nordstrom Rack stuff. I went to Nordstrom Rack three separate times. I went the first time they were doing the 50% off dresses. Then I went when they did 50% off like shoot sandals, heels, flats. And then I went back again. My sister had to go to TJ Maxx and they're by each other. So I was like, I'll just pop in. And they weren't having any sales, but they had marked down some dresses further. So let's just start with the Nordstrom Rack stuff and then we'll get into Last Chance. I only got one pair of shoes, which was pretty disappointing because I saw everybody posting their shoe finds. They, here's the brand Jagger. I never heard of this brand until like a week before. I was looking for a very specific pair of shoes for myself and I found one of this brand and the person had them like listed at like, uh, not listed, had the retail like 300 something. I ended up paying 30, but I did when I got the shoes do some research on this brand and it sold at Revolve. It does retail for a decent amount. The price is not on here, but I think I paid like 10, $11 for these and I really love them when, that's the inside, I really love how these shoes look, but then on the foot, this like bottle nose is a little too much for me. Uh, I don't really, I didn't check comps on this exact pair, which you know if you're paying up for a little bit you should, but if you watch any of my videos you know I'm not very good at checking comps. Actually, I am good at checking comps, just the stuff I check comps on generally doesn't come home with me because comps aren't good. Uh, I just knew that these were expensive and when I was looking at current styles they were selling for like 70 plus dollars ish so I'm hoping with the box to get around 70 dollars for these so this is the only pair of shoes I found here let me show you there's the brand tag now let's move in to dresses I already took price tags off of them so I don't know exactly how much I paid besides like it's in my spreadsheet but I think for I'll show you I'll tell you what day I got it. So, here is a Show Me Your Moo Moo Bridesmaids dress. And if you watch any of my last chance hauls, you know Show Me Your Moo Moo Bridesmaids dresses are, this is really hard to show, like my bread and butter. I sell them consistently between like $80 and $100. And I usually find them at last chance. And this one I did pay up for. Like, uh, I would say I don't like to pay more than $15 for them generally. But this one's new with tags and I've never actually sold one that's new with tags. So hopefully I can get, here is the show me your move with tag. Hopefully I can get a little bit more than 80 to 100 and there is a little snag, but I think I paid like 20 something, $22 for this. And this was not a sale day. This was just the extra markdown. Now along here is another show me your moo moo. And there were more show me your moo moo, but certain styles don't do as well. So, and also a few of them had flaws too much for me to pay, like 20 something. Again, new with tags, which is why I'd pay more than my average, like $15 tag. This one is blue and it's a different style. It's like a short sleeve. And I do have this color in my closet right now, along with, do I have, I've sold this color before, I think. I have actually sold this in a different style. I sell these all the time. And believe it or not, there's gonna be a lot of formal dresses in here because people are not buying them, which makes sense at the store, because uh, a lot of people are looking for formal dresses right now. But I still have been selling the occasional formal dress online on Poshmark. So people are still being bridesmaids. So the next dress I have is another like bread and butter for me. It is a Lulu's formal dress, like maxi. Here's the back. It's pretty basic. Just long. Most of the, the dresses you'll see today are gowns, just because people aren't really shopping for gowns right now, which makes sense because you don't really have a place to go. But as I said, I'm still selling a few online and I will pick them up and I will hold on to them. Um, here's a Lulu's tag. It is new with tags. I did not get this 50% off. I'm pretty sure this was just a markdown. Oh, I think this is another Lulu's dress. I promise the haul gets a little more interesting when we get into the last chance stuff. Again, new with tags. So I sold this in purple before, and this is a navy blue one. 
and again i think i sold that dress during covid so people for some reason still buying formal dresses um and i think i paid like 11 dollars for this maybe less i don't really remember when people have to start buying formal dresses again i'm gonna have all the formal dresses this is the bag of dresses i got when they were 50 percent off so first oh what do you know we got another show me your move and i've never actually purchased this style or in black before and I've since purchased another in black, but it's a one shoulder, show me your moo moo, new with tags. I paid $7 for this, I think, which is like what I would play at last chance. Again, here is the tag. And this actually had like a tag from Nordstrom Max saying it had been altered. I didn't see any alterations, but I will measure and I will check again. We'll, we'll look. Okay, this was probably my riskiest purchase i paid 45 dollars for this i even posted a thing on my story um that was like a vote a poll i was like should i buy this here i don't know how to say this s-t-a-u-d stewed and it is new tags because it's from nordstrom rack and not last chance it's so beautiful if i wore <laughs> pretty dresses i would keep it i love a square neckline Maybe I'll throw up the stock photo because I do have the stock photo. And there, I'm hoping to get $120 for it. Like, I'm hoping. That's what I would like to sell it for. Um, and there's like very few listed. I think there was like two listed, one sold. At the time I did comps, it's been a few weeks now. Um, this brand is very expensive. It's definitely a bolo. If you come across it, obviously I paid $45 for this. And so my profit is not going to be huge, but I know if worse comes to worse, I'm going to make my money back. And I, I, like, I mean, honestly, I think if worse comes to worse, I'll make a $20 profit, but I'm hoping for more. And, oh, there's people walking by, so I'm just going to sit here and be quiet. Okay. And what I was going to say about the poll for this dress was most of you guys were voting, no, you should not pay $45 for this dress. But then I bought it anyway, and I was getting home. I went through checking who voted my poll, and Nick from NCI Resale said I should buy it. So that made me feel a little bit better about my purchase. Thank you, Nick, for voting. This might have been my best friend. It is this Reformation dress, and we all know Reformation is a bolo. Um, I haven't looked up comps on this specific piece, but this style in general does well, like a floral maxi midi dress from Reformation is going to do well. New with tags, and I was really hoping to find some Reformation. Here's a tag. And I don't know if I've ever heard anyone say this. This is the newer tag, and newer as in probably a few years old, but there is one tag before this that's black with, like, black, uh, not mesh like a black sheer fabric that says reformation on it and that is a slightly older tag but so i was really hoping to find some reformation while i was shopping and i did find these corduroy corduroy overalls in a few pairs of them but they were oversaturated in poshmark a bunch of people probably picked them up at the nordstrom racks dale so that is one thing is beware when you're picking up from when you're picking stuff up from nordstrom rack that it's not oversaturated i wasn't finding any reformation and then uh an employee came out with a rack of new dresses and I really wanted to go through them, but she was working at it and I'm not gonna like be that person. But I did see, I glanced over when she was going through the rack and saw this dress and I was like, oh my gosh, that has to be Reformation. And cause it was like hanging like this, I could kind of see that white tag and I knew what it was. And I was like, oh, excuse me, can I see that dress? And she's like, sure, and handed it to me. I was like, yep, this is mine. Best part was they had a price of $30, 50% off. I paid like $16 for this and I'm expecting over $100. So this was probably my best friend and it'll probably flip pretty fast. One more Nordstrom Rack item and then we can move into Last Chance. Um, this is a Gal Meets Glam item. Again, new with tags, which I never get because Last Chance likes to snip those off. But this is new with tags. This is Gal Meets Glam. Everybody's out walking their dogs. I literally in the past five minutes, I've probably seen eight dogs. Um, so it's actually a jumpsuit. Let me tuck this back in. I don't remember how much, I think I paid $12 for this. 
and it crosses in the front and I did not see very many of this specific jumpsuit listed which is why I picked it up. Uh, Gal Meets Glam is a brand that can get very oversaturated. I think they have pieces uh, that are not sold at Nordstrom and then certain ones that are sold at Nordstrom. So the ones that are sold at Nordstrom can get more oversaturated. So again, just look up the piece before you purchase it. At the time I looked up comps, I did not see many of this style listed. And that is the end of the Nordstrom Rack portion. I would recommend you stay tuned for Last Chance because I enjoyed my Last Chance haul better. But you know, if you're just here for Nordstrom Rack, thanks for watching. See you later. Let's get into Last Chance. So if you don't know what Last Chance is, I feel like I say this every Last Chance video because I need to. If you don't know what Last Chance is, it is where everything goes after Nordstrom Rack. Some random stuff ends up there. Nordstrom returns. It's just like... Think of a Nordstrom liquidation palette you've ever seen on YouTube, that's Last Chance. It's just a big Nordstrom liquidation palette. There's only two in the world, one in Phoenix and one in Chicago. I go to Chicago location. Uh, I'm lucky to live pretty close. They do a color of the week tag, just like many Goodwill, Salvation Army, thrift stores in general, um, to get rid of stuff, the old stuff. So they have a few, like five, maybe different color tags, and then one color a week will go on sale. So it starts Sunday through Thursday is 50% off. That's Sunday's when the color changes. Thursday and Friday are 80% off. I like to go Friday. It's been super packed lately since they reopened from COVID. I don't know if it's just um, more people are starting to resell. Um, some people have told me more people are starting to resell because they're out of a job. That could be very likely. Um, I don't really know why there's a big increase since COVID, um, since quarantine ended uh and they reopened but if that being said if you're there from like opening which is do they, they open at 10 to like two o'clock you're probably gonna wait in line for 45 minutes to check out um i was not planning on going to last chance this day so i got there late and i've been i said this in my last last chance like all the time since i've been to last chance since covid i have not made it there opening i've slept late i didn't get to the shoes what i'm trying to say is my favorite thing to sell is shoes and for some reason i have not made it in shoe two shoes in time to get a nice big cart full of shoes and i've gotten a few pairs here and there but really the only stuff that i've been able to get to are the gowns and so that's what you're gonna see a lot of in this video are gowns and as i already said there's less people shopping for gowns right now which is probably why i'm getting the majority of the gowns uh eventually people are going to need gowns i'm still selling gowns like maxi uh fancy ones and just regular maxi dresses less often than in non-covid times but i'm still selling them and so i don't mind holding on to these dresses that i know will be a good flip eventually that being said let's get into some gowns and some shoes. I did pick up a few pairs of shoes. Maybe we get into some shoes first. Okay. So this day, green tags were on sale and I was lucky to find a few green tag shoes. And actually I did end up leaving some behind as well. Okay, that, oh my gosh, these are 9.5, which is interesting because I don't remember going through that shoe size. Um, these are just Steve Madden snake skin reptile skin blush pink flats and i think i have i hauled these before not from last chance but i think i found a pair of these at the bins and a pair of these at goodwill these are just everywhere right now and uh the main reason i picked these up is they are pretty cheap like i paid like three dollars just for these so i grabbed these should sell for like 25 dollars they're not in excellent condition they're definitely worn and returned or store try on pair Next pair of shoes I picked up solely based on style. Oh, they're zip tied together. And they are these red, like knee high, um, snake skin, reptile skin boots. And the brand is Catherine, Catherine Melandrino. Is that how you say that? Let's see if you can even see that. It's probably not. But I obviously have, I guess not obviously, I have come across this brand and I always leave it behind. I don't even think I check comps. I'm just like, ah, that's not worth anything. And these are, how much did I pay? I paid like $6 for these. And I was like, you know what? Brand doesn't matter on these. Style alone is gonna sell these for a decent amount. And the funny thing is, the week before I was at Last Chance, that haul's probably coming later, out of order. 
I got the exact same pair of these and from Sam Edelman. So I will have two pair of these. Uh, these ones are like a, a six. Oh, and sticking with red snake skin, we got these Top Shop shoes. And you, if you watch my videos religiously, you may, may recognize them. Honestly, you probably wouldn't. But I picked these up before in this size maybe and I still have them and I absolutely love them which is why I picked them up again and I'm just gonna do a multiple quantity listing and I don't know why these haven't sold yet because I love them so much maybe people are like yeah I don't have a place to wear those but they're stunning I love them oh also honestly if they were very if they cost more wait why is there a reason that these are so cheap I should have like they priced these really cheap at last chance but they look stunning. They look like they're never even worn. They priced them at $13 at last chance I paid, which is not typical. They usually price Topshop between $20 and $30. So I paid 80% off, like two something. Um, which is the main reason I picked these up. If I was paying like $6, I probably would have left them behind just because I've had that one pair listed for a few months now with like little interest. But I love them so much. I'm like, why don't people want to buy these from me? They're awesome. Did I only- I don't think I only got three pairs of shoes. I think there's more shoes in here. Um, oh my god, this video is gonna be so long. So, now we're gonna- the shoes will come when they come. The rest of the shoes will come when they come. We're gonna- I'm gonna start showing you some gowns. Okay. First up, oh my gosh, not even like straying away from the last chance haul. I mean, Nordstrom Rack. First thing- item up is a Lulu's formal dress. Again, bread and butter. Love selling these. They like consistently sell for over $40 for me. And this one is a size extra large, which is fantastic. The trees are blowing. I hope it doesn't rain again. I mean, we need the rain, but wait till I'm done filming. Again, just a long gown. And not no tags, because last chance cuts the tags off, but should still sell for over 40. Love this. Love finding Lulu's for dirt cheap. Well, that's the thing too, is this, is, this was super cheap. This was probably like $3. Next up is a brand I've never heard of before. And it is Julia Jordan is the name of the brand. There's the tag. Never heard of it before. I did a quick search while I was going through my cart, checking comps, checking for flaws. And it's like a department store brand. Um, and so it's like sold at Macy's and Dillard's and Nordstrom, obviously. And uh, it didn't look like too expensive, but I picked it up for style. So it's a plus size, also because of size, uh, jumpsuit with this mesh top, high neck, polka dot, I mean, what other keywords can I use? I don't know. Also, I paid $4, so yeah, this is coming home with me. I think I can probably sell it for $30. Next up, I picked this up basically most, oh my gosh, is it getting too dark? Is it too dark? I picked this up mostly size it is a 4x also it's new with tags which they forgot to cut this little tag off um i mean it's like partial tags most of the tag is cut off but there is still that so i can sell it with new tags and also i paid like again two dollars for it not everything i paid for was super cheap this is leaf if that's how you say it nordstrom house brand and it is a 4x red velvet wrap dress and it could easily be dressed up or dressed down perfect holiday dress it is also kind of like tiered oh my gosh this is impossible to show so uh i guess we're not really gonna show it <laughs> whatever it's a wrap dress it's tiered it's pretty i picked it up based on size it is in cheap oh here's my receipt ready let's hear how much this one is not as long as my first one but my total was $212.45 and that is with $17.54 sales tax because Chicago's really ridiculous I'm like I don't know why I'm filming these hauls backwards so I first looked up this brand a few weeks ago when I went to last chance that haul as I said will be posted and it is Pisana Nights question mark potentially and I've definitely seen this at last chance before and just always passed it because like obviously you can tell that oh and this is also like not new with tags but still has the beading. You can tell this is a nice expensive dress just because of all the beading on here. But for some reason I've always like that tag 
has always really turned me off. I'm like, that is not a trendy tag. No one wants this. <laughs> but then I checked comps. Not this time. For, but then I checked comps for the first time. Not this time, but the time before I was at Last Chance. And was like, oh, you know what? This is worth something. And you know, this is one of the uglier ones I've picked up so far. This is definitely like a mother of the bride style with like the beading shirt kind of detail. and then like nothing on the bottom but it, it's still gonna sell um and minimal flaws to the beading definitely always check beading if you are purchasing something with beading this video is going on for one long long time oh okay so this is like a swimsuit cover-up from the brand robin piccone piccone never picked it up before i don't even know if i'd ever heard of it just saw it, grabbed it because it was green tag, did a quick search, and I was like, you know what? This is probably worth picking up for $4. And so it is a jumpsuit. Like, I'm assuming it's a, supposed to be swim cover at Beachwear. Like, definitely very flowy. Um, I don't remember exact comp. Like, uh, I don't think I checked exact comps for this piece, but I'm assuming about $30 for this. $30, $35 is what I'm hoping for. And we finished our first bag of dresses. So let's go on to a crap ton more of dresses. Wait, friends, we found the shoes. Okay, well, if you're still here, thank you. And we can do the rest of the shoes, and if you want to peace out, because all I've got is dresses, then feel free. Actually, don't, because I want you to watch my videos. I really hope I cut that out. Okay, so I grabbed these, because they're on sale. 80% off, these are like $8, they're Vince Camuto quilted riding boots, and the equestrian style is supposed to be very in, that side has a rubber band. This fall, oh my gosh, I mean, tall boots are always in style, I feel like, but, okay, I don't like selling Vince Camuto, but I've had good luck with their boots in the past, so I did grab these ones. Also, I mean, they just look expensive, so. Um, I'm hoping for 40 to $50 on these. Oh, and the last pair of shoes. Another pair of boots. And there are actually two of these, but I only grabbed one. I don't know why. I bet I should have grabbed the other. Again, I paid $8 for these. I actually love these. I might try these on. Do I love these? I don't need them. I'm selling these. They're my size, so they're size 6. And they got this lace-up back. And I think these will do well. They're soft, which is... Eh, it does okay for me. It's not great. I'll grab it at the bins. Uh, but this is definitely more modern style and trendy. So hopefully, again, I can get about $40 to $50 on these. And now we're going to show more dresses. So, this was a pretty good find. Uh, another Reformation piece. And this is not new text. And also, it wasn't on sale. But it kind of was on sale. It wasn't 80% off. But because, like, no one wants to buy gowns maxi dresses nicer pieces right now um they were having 25 percent off all tall dresses so i did get this for 25 percent off so i paid under 30 dollars and hoping to sell it for over 100 this reformation piece i did check comps um most people have listed uh, this is just i can't do that most people have listed for over 200 i think i'm gonna undercut them slightly just because there's a lot list a lot there's a a decent amount listed for over 200 so i think about going at like 180 and then take an offer but this is the print and it's got a slit and it's a faux wrap on the front next okay this is like the one dress item i didn't find and it is something navy which is a blogger brand i believe here is the tag and i think there's some controversy surrounding this brand as well um but I picked this up because it was $2. And I'm hoping to get like 25. It's so soft. Is this like cashmere or something? Really nothing. There's like a teeny tiny bit of wool, but this is super soft. I don't expect a lot for this, but I grabbed it because, you know, seasonal, cheap. Next up, I think I actually grabbed, did I grab a few of these? I don't know. Okay. 
we got a dress the population dress and again they cut the tags off so this obviously would have been new tags but they cut it off and i i have had people ask me i do not sell these as new tags unless there's like a remnant of a tag and i say new with partial tag but if it's completely cut off like this i just sell it as used i don't i don't say used but i also don't put new anywhere in the listing and if people get it and they're like oh my gosh this looks basically new then they might like the be what is that like under sell over deliver anyway that's what i do uh, also this is not new tag last chance tag is, does not make a new tag so yeah that gets cut off it's not new tag um this is the older dress the population tag they have updated their tag since this and i do have some of the newer tags in here so stay tuned if you want to see that oh you know what i can't sell this new tag because i will sell it as new with partial tag because this is a like you can't return this dress without this label um to nordstrom so there we go i just gave that whole speech for no reason anyway this is really pretty dress the population formal gown i think it's got a ruffle let's pull it up and see oh no no ruffle but it's it's got a slit very classic black dress and if i had i will say this for many of these dresses what size is it small probably wouldn't fit me i've gained, I've gained a little weight this covid um beautiful dress though and on these dress the population dresses i'm expecting 60 and above 60 to 100 unless comps tell me otherwise dress the population is generally a good pickup especially the longer ones will sell for more Oh look, we got some bread and butter. I need to move faster. So I'm gonna move faster, okay. Show me your moo bread and butter. As I said, like, probably new, like you can still see the, like literally, can you see this? The pull tab, or what am I, pull tab? It's got the little, why oh, can't, oh my gosh. You can see they like still left it in the tag and it's got its little, Flippy from the tag still they just snipped those right off okay so bread and butter i paid pretty cheap for this one six dollars love it and this is an xxl and i don't know if i've ever sold an xxl xxl this is a more structured fabric than the ones i usually grab i think i do have this listed in blue right now bread and butter 80 to 100 dollars is it weird that that's my bread and butter like obviously i sell stuff for cheaper but like i consider those my bread and butter just because i find them so often only two more bags left they're full but only two left okay dress the population this one's so pretty and i will show you this is the newer tag so it's it just got a different font and this is also an XXL, and again, you can tell it was new tags, and they snipped that right off there. But I can sell this one as new tags, or new with partial tag, because it's, again, got the return label on there. Um, so, here's this dress. I love this. It's so pretty. And just like a basic bottom. Um, there was a flaw, and I'm going to have to figure out if I want to try and stitch it or sell it as is. It's kind of a hard one to stitch. There's, see right here, um, the stitching has started to come in undone on the pleating. But, is that even a pleating? Like a dart? But, it's lined and it doesn't really affect it. So I'll have to decide if I want to try and stitch it or just sell it as is. Is this another address the population? It is. And again, newer tag not really gonna show you um this is a different style. a lot of black um i don't know what to call this this style is not flattering on me i think most people can't pull this off except like skinny mini girls but if you can props to you uh again it's got a partial tag so i'll just say like when i list these um i'll say price tag cut off still has return tag on it with partial tag got a slit in it oh my goodness it's another show me your moo moo show me your moo moo size small black we've seen the style before so this one is the less structured one than the previous one i just showed you this is a more flowy one it's black um i don't know what you wear these for do people do black bridesmaids dresses like maybe a black white tie whatever um 
Is this another show me? No, it's not. This is another Lulu's dress. Again, you can see they pulled the tag right off of there because it's still got that on there. And this is pretty cheap. Uh, another formal dress should sell for over 40. Navy blue, not a whole lot to say. I might be sitting on these for a while, but they'll sell eventually. I don't remember. Oh, this is Vince Camuto. Okay, again, with shoes, I've said I don't like selling Vince Camuto shoes very. It's not a brand I enjoy selling very much. Why can't I find the tag? Okay, also, how have they not updated their tag? Like, they really need a tag update. Vince Camuto, design team, consider that. Um, anyway, what I was saying, I don't really like selling their clothes, but their formal dresses have done very well for me in the past. Also, also this is a beautiful color green oh got a slit so down there super pretty i love that um so in the past i think these have sold for like 60 to 70 dollars for me do you hear that noise god it's a weird noise i guess we'll just talk to it uh, so, what was I saying? Um, I guess Mince Camuto, clothing-wise, I'd recommend picking up their formal dresses, and that's about it. Another Show Me Your Moo Moo. Oh my god, I have so many of these to list. Um, this, I have this style listed in blue. Uh, oh, if you don't know, Show Me Your Moo Moo has style names on the interior tag. Um, so, this color I think might be like Show Me the Ring. The colors are names. Definitely throw that in your title description if you're selling Show Me Your Moo Moo Bridesmaids dress because people are looking for the specific color so 80 to 100 dollars on that one hopefully okay this was actually one of the only short dresses i found because it was mixed in with the tall dresses it is eliza j and eliza j i sell for like 30 bucks 30 to 40 dollars and this is again a fancier dress very sparkly i paid four dollars for it which is the main reason i grabbed it i think but definitely a great new year's so with a lot of like with this style dress i throw in there even if it's summer new year's holiday dress you never know when people start shopping for that stuff if you're like me you're probably shopping like a week before but some people like to plan their stuff in ahead i don't understand that i'm a procrastinator have i already okay i think i showed you this dress yep okay just another dress the population exact same dress i think they're one's a medium and one's a small but new with partial tag one bag left guys power through this has been a long video okay this is i think i didn't really check comps on this but i think it'll be a good one it is tadashi shoji the tag is coming undone on one side and i honestly don't know whether to try and stitch that back on or just leave it because it's a lace mesh back i don't want to mess it up so anyway here's a tag tadashi shoji very expensive and this was a one-off so uh people will say this at nordstrom rack and the same thing happens at last chance like there's a multiple of this doesn't mean it's not worth picking up but you have to be more careful with multiples this is like somebody wore it return it and um it's more more likely no one else is gonna have grab this dress at nordstrom rack or last chance because there's only one of them so very beautiful again could be a great holiday dress all sparkly what's this called like a uh, i don't know what the word i was looking for anyway sparkly gown goes all the way down um no slit i guess and then here's the back it's like open lace back and maybe i i'm gonna throw up some comps here of tadashi shoji gowns i actually have a tadashi shoji in my death pile it's an older style and the reason it's in my death pile is it had deodorant marks in the armpit that i had a hard time getting out i think i just need to get it listed sell it as is try to get the deodorant marks out as best as possible i'm assuming this dress will sell i mean obviously i'm hoping for over 100 but i'm guessing 80 to 100 plus 80 plus is what i'm guessing on that dress okay here's another dress the population newer tag and this one is an extra large and actually uh is this i found this in the short dresses but i don't know if it is a long or not so red i think it's like a midi another great holiday dress like faux wrap front 
Not a whole lot to say. I'm guessing $40 to $60 on this one. Oh, okay. This is a new to me brand. I actually paid full price for this of $8. And I think they kind of messed up. They dropped the ball on pricing this. Because when I looked up the brand, uh, comps are all over the place because it's not a very popular brand. Like, not a whole lot listed, not a whole lot sold. But, okay, there's like, let me take this little barcode thingy off. Just kidding, I can't get it off right now. And we're just wasting time. Okay, so it's called Vida, V-E-D-A. And comps were, again, all over the place. But I picked it up and because um, the retail on this was like 200 plus and it's just like a little denim dress and I think it's a size like extra large so I'm excited to learn a little bit more about this brand and see how it does yeah it says XL again here's the tag uh, if you find this brand definitely look it up and see if it could be worth picking up guys we are almost done one more <laughs> dress the population dress another black very classic I think the style is different uh, oh it's the red one just in black uh faux wrap front ruching on the side although this one looks longer i think this is the red one just longer again new with partial tag 60 plus dollars it's eliza j and this piece honestly shocked me and i thought it was stunning and i'm so glad i found it oh my gosh if i have a okay it's a size four i'd probably like a six but if i can squeeze into this for any occasion it's a jumpsuit this might not get listed right away. Oh, but it's new with tags. I don't know. I have no reason to wear this. If I have a reason to wear it, this might stick around for a little bit because look at the sparkle on this. Oh my gosh, I think I could, mm, yes. Anyway, dress the population tag is cut off, but it still has this Nordstrom tag on it. And again, the way I list these is a uh, brand tag slash price tag cut off still has Nordstrom tag on it. I paid like $4 for this. I paid four dollars for this oh my gosh oh. it's so pretty oh okay let's do the one more show me your moo moo and then we have uh two others and then we have done so i've never sold this stuff but no i've never sold this style before uh show me your moo moo size small and it is a lace up back one. Oh my gosh this is so hard to show so here's the front it is another like bridesmaid dress, lace it back. Also, when you list these, just throw prom dress in there. You never know what some. I like, I have a little thing on the bottom of my listings. Maybe I'll pop a screenshot up. It says like special occasion, formal event, prom dress, wedding guest dress, bridesmaid dress. Just get all those keywords in there. You never know what people want this for. This could, I guess for a bridal shower, you wear white, but anyway, this is like blush, lace up back. Um, I don't know about this style, but I'd hope 60 plus dollars. We got a Vince Camuto formal dress, and again, they need to update that tag because that's really ugly and just outdated, in my opinion. But, like, look at this, and then also Eliza J could probably do something with their tag, but like with the sleek dress the population tag I've been showing you. Mm -mm. Okay, anyway, this is another Vince Camuto formal event dress. What am I saying? Gown. And it's got this interesting detail it's like kind of like a sash because it's got like this goes out and i just thought this was a very pretty dress it's definitely more mature but still pretty got a slit i'm so sorry gowns are so hard to show and obviously it blew like velvet velour so hoping 60 plus on this one last last dress of this haul last dress again here's this brand again well i don't know what i called this pisana nights and this one is a short one i've only ever seen these in like gowns but this one is a mini dress i really like the color of this uh again it feels a little more mature but i'm sure someone could pull a younger audience could pull this off very pretty great beading on here oh and did i say comps i don't know about the short ones but the long ones sell for like a decent amount i'll pop the comps up here because this is definitely a brand I wish I started picking up sooner because I have seen it. That is everything for this Nordstrom Rack slash last chance haul. If you watched this entire video, I'm amazed. You are true. You are a trooper. Thank you so much for your support. I hope you found this video entertaining or took away some valuable information. 
Am I providing valuable content? I don't know. If you like reseller content, feel free to subscribe. I always have more videos coming soon. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you are currently watching this because it's the end, which means you stayed this whole time. Bye guys.